Hi everyone, I'm Willy from Design Plus Code and today I will give you a quick introduction to SpriteKit. So in this course, I will teach you how to make this awesome game named Elon Space Adventure. As you can see on the screen, we have this baby Elon and we have a joystick. So when we move left to right, Elon is moving left to right with some animation. If you tap on the screen, Elon is jumping with this jumping animation. And when he moves, there's a camera following Elon. And I don't know if you can notice it in the background, but the mountains is doing some parallax animation. And now in the scene, you see that the gems and the trap are animated. Those are called timeline animation. It is entirely made in the sprite kit scene without any line of code. At the top left, you see that we have some hearts. Those are Elon's lives. And if we touch a trap, we are losing hearts. Every time Elon moves or do an action, you will hear some sounds effect. In this course, I will teach you all the foundations and all the basic gaming features for you to create your own dream game. So join me on this adventure and let's get started. So first of all, you need to download Xcode and the assets folder. Now click on create a new Xcode project. And now as you can see, Apple gives us a lot of templates to start with, depending on what kind of app you want to make. In our case, we're going to choose game and click next. For the product name, we're going to use Elon's Adventure. For the organization name, we're going to use your, your own name. For the organization identifier, it's going to be normally the name of your company. And for the language, we're going to use Swift and Game Technology Sprite Kit. Now click Next. Save it somewhere that will be easy to find for you, such as your desktop or in your document. Click Create. And now you have your first project. Now let's run our simulator and see what we have. To run the simulator, you need to click on the play button here. Or the shortcut on your keyboard is Command R. So this is the first template that Apple gave us for our Sprite Kit game. Now let's get back into our project. So let's set up our first level. First of all, we need some assets. So to import some assets, you need to click on the assets catalog and then open your assets folder, select everything and drag and drop inside. You can close this and we can maximize this. Okay, so here we need to select all our folders. Why is because that every assets name are a number. So we need to provide name spacing. So that way it is going to be easier to do some animations later on. Now click on the game scene.sks which is the sprite kit scene. We can close those. So this is going to be the first scene that we're going to see. You can delete the hello label. And in your scene, we can change the name to level one. We're going to change the size of your scene to 812 and the height to 375 because this is the size of the screen of an iPhone 10. Because of that, we're going to change our simulator device to an iPhone 10. So now here in, in the media library, we have all our assets. So let's drag and drop the ground. So now let's make it a little bit bigger and let's put our first player, which is the player slash zero. So now we have a player and the ground. Let's run the game. As you can see, it's not really working because we changed the scene to be in landscape mode. So to apply landscape mode to our simulator, all you need to do is to do command and arrow right. And now you have it. Now we have Elon and we have the ground. 
But it's not really fun if Elon is not falling on the ground. So let's apply some gravity. Let's get back into our project. So we're going to apply some gravity to our character by giving him a physics definition here. We're going to choose the body type to be alpha mask because we want our character to be more defined. By giving him a physics definition, it means that we are giving some physics property to our node, which is a player. So we are going to allow him to be affected by gravity, to be able to have collisions, uh, to have frictions, and so on. So for now, we're going to disable allow rotation. We're going to keep dynamic and affected by gravity. And since we want our character to collide with the ground, we are going to do the same thing for the ground. We are going to give him a physics body bounding rectangle. But since it, it is a ground and we don't want it to move or anything, we are going to uncheck dynamic, allow rotation and affected by gravity. Now let's rerun our game. And now, as you can see, the character is falling on the ground now. Let's finish our first level. So now let's get back into our project. And here in the meter library, let's drag and drop the background. As you can see, the background is overlaying all our, our character and the ground. And this is because of the document outline. Here, everything that is up is further away from us. So right now, the background is down and it is closer to us. This is a layout. What we need to do is to put the background. So now the layout is better. Let's put the arrow for the joystick, the knob, of course. We're gonna set up the moon. Since the moon is in the back, we're going to put behind. We are going to put some mountains. You can use the arrow on your keyboard to position all the nodes perfectly. So now that we have our scene set up, let's name our nodes. So for example, this one would be the background node. This is the moon. We're gonna call them Mountains 1, Mountains 2, and Mountains 3. This is the ground. We're gonna name our player Player, of course. This is the arrow. This is the knob. And we have the stars. We need to create a joystick. And to do so, let's go to the object library. Now we're gonna select an empty node. Let's put it here on the scene. And now we're gonna change the name to joystick. We're gonna keep the position to minus 300 for the X and minus 100 for the Y. And we're going to select the arrow and the knob in the document outline and drag and drop inside the joystick. So now we have a joystick, the arrow and the knob will always be together. We can finally run our game and see what it looks like. But first, we need to change one declaration. So let's enable our project navigator. Let's go to the game view controller and here. For the view in your sibling order, we're gonna put it to false. The reason why we put it to false is because we have a lot of nodes that shares the same Z position. And the Z position is a number that determines the order of each node that we have that will appear on our screen. It is the same as the layout. But since all our nodes are sharing the same Z position, we want Xcode to render them as it is in our scene. Let's run our simulator. So in this video, we learned how to create 
our first project, how to do some small settings, import assets, then setting up our first scene, applying gravity to our character, and learn a little bit about the Z position. I'll see you on the next video.